Today's lesson is on producers, consumers, and decomposers in an ecosystem. Everything in the natural world is connected. An ecosystem is a community of living and non-living things that work together. Ecosystems have no particular size. An ecosystem can be as large as a desert or a lake or as small as a tree or a puddle. The water, water temperature, plants, animals, air, light, and soil all work together. If there isn't enough light or water, or if the soil doesn't have the right nutrients, the plants will die. If the plants die, animals that depend on them will die. If the animal that depend on the plants die, any animals that depend on those animals will die. Ecosystems in nature work the same way. All the parts work together to make a balanced system. Within an ecosystem, organisms are classified whether they are a producer, a consumer, or a decomposer. Producers get their energy from the sun. Producers make their food through photosynthesis. The plants take in the sunlight, the water, and the carbon dioxide and give off the oxygen. This oxygen can also be converted into starch, which is stored food in other plant parts of the plant. This is how producers make their own food. This is important to the other organisms in the ecosystem because this is how they get the oxygen that they need to breathe. Trees, plants, shrubs, and different types of grasses are all examples of producers in different types of ecosystems. Algae and some bacteria are also types of producers. Remember, producers make their food by taking sunlight and using the energy to make sugar. The plant uses this sugar, also called glucose, to make many things such as wood, leaves, roots, and bark. Consumers get energy from other organisms. There are three types of consumers. A carnivore is an animal that eats only meat. A herbivore is an animal that eats only plant material. And an omnivore is an animal that eats plants and meat. Consumers have to feed on producers or other consumers to survive. A consumer is any organism that can't make its own food. Consumers have to feed on producers or other consumers to survive. Deer are herbivores, which means that they only eat plants, which are producers. Bears are another example of consumers. Black bears are omnivores and scavengers, like skunks and raccoons, which means that they will eat just about anything. Every ecosystem has both producers and consumers. Decomposers are organisms that primarily feed on dead organisms or the waste from living organisms. Decomposers are the garbage men of the animal kingdom. They take all the dead animals and plants, consumers and producers, and break them down into their nutrient components so that the plants can use them to make more food. Shelf fungus is a fungus that grows on the sides of trees. It grows into the tree and decomposes it slowly. Have you ever been walking through the woods and come across a dead log that falls apart and is full of dirt? That is because decomposers have been eating and digesting that log for several years, turning it into dirt that is wonderful for plants. To review, every ecosystem is made up of producers, consumers, and decomposers. Plants are the producers. This is because they produce their own food. They do this by using light energy from the sun, carbon dioxide from the air, and water from the soil to produce food in the form of glucose or sugar. 
This process is called photosynthesis. Carrots, trees, and sunflowers are examples of producers. Consumers. Animals are called consumers. This is because they cannot make their own food, so they need to consume or eat plants or other animals. There are three groups of consumers. Herbivores, animals that eat only plants. Carnivores, animals that eat only animals. And omnivores, animals that eat both plants and animals. Humans are omnivores. Penguins, hamsters, elephants, and tigers are other examples of consumers. Decomposers eat de decaying matter, which are dead plants and animals, and in the process they break them down and decompose them. When that happens, they release nutrients and mineral salts back into the soil, which will then be used by plants. Bacteria, fungi, mushrooms are examples of decomposers.